data acquisition and processing in AntGIS. Uh, this is a course called CIS CGIS uh, 004. We want to look at how we can acquire data and process it into AntGIS environment. For you to be able to produce your model and do a lot of things in AntGIS, you need to acquire data. Acquiring the right data is a, actually I am doing the right model. So this model will be looking at that. Then we have five exercises we are going to look at. Number one is how we can integrate flat file data into ArcGIS. Secondly, we have to look at how GPS data can be integrated into ArcMap environment and integrate also data from uh, internet. The fourth one, various online ArcGIS, how we can actually integrate those data into ArcMap. And finally, we are going to look at digitizing on the screen. So these five exercises is what we are going to do. Then, in the overall, it is divided into five sections. The first section will be looking at how we can acquire, introduce the acquisition method anywhere. Then we'll go into the flat file data acquisition and how we can convert degrees, minutes, and seconds into decimal using our Excel. How we can use some data from global positioning system. From there, we'll go into GPA data integration, also into ArcMap integration using DNR, Garmin extension, and other some other various extensions we can find in um, ArcGIS. And also, we'll see how we can integrate all these into uh, ArcMap. Then, in the text section, we'll be looking at the download integrating the downloaded data into ArcMap, like area photograph, the satellite imagery, and all that, and some other data online, and also look at feature creating into uh, ArcGIS environment. Also, we'll go into another section where we'll be looking at how we can add, you know, layers from existing layer into a new layer, how we can digitize on screen, produce polygon shape file, create I'm a point shape file, line shape file, and also learn how we can also um, create new lines and update our attribute tables. Then, as a matter of introduction, we know that, you know, there is nothing you can do without acquiring your data or bringing your data. Data are the raw materials we use to produce whatever you want to produce in the GIS environment. So reliable and accurate data is essential for carrying meaningful GIS projects. So GIS users can rely on many sources of GIS data and some of the data are already available in different formats and it can be created. There are also digital special data also available from different various organizations and then commercial sources. So they can be processed into different types that can be ready for use. So there are different various sources of, of data. First of all, there are, um, we can source our data from hard copy maps. The hard copy maps, uh, most of the data, most of the data that we use in AntGIS environment are digitized from hard copy maps. You can get your data from GIS reports. You can get some data from tabular you know, from your coordinate information gathered from GPX, and also from primary data from the field, which you actually gathered yourself. You can get your data from that. Then from satellite imagery also, you can also gather some information from that, and remote sensing imagery. So there are various ways these data can be gotten. Then they can be gotten and also be stored. They can store an associated ingredients of database. So reports can be any valuable information that can be turned into GIS layers, you know, such as classification or even explanation for a certain type of data. A few data is considered primary most of the time because these are data the user collected and integrated, collected himself and integrated into GIS as a database. User can also use GPS to register locations in terms of X and Y coordinate and altitude of the observation locations, image of the locations, and also use this as a source of data. There are various ways you need to use to acquire your data. All depends on the kind of project or what you want to do. 
Then integrating the flat files in AntJX, the scenario one is most of the data that we will be using, most of the GPX, most of the coordinates are in degree minute seconds. So you, it's very, very important you learn how to convert these coordinates into degrees using Excel, you know. This is the process. The first one is that you can use your Excel to convert the, the degree minute seconds into decimals. And after that, you save it as a text, as a de text data that did your or your CSV. Then you can integrate the text file into ArcMap and convert it into a shape file. So that will become a, a, a data for the ArcMap to make use of. Then, if you actually want to do that, this is the formula D, which is the degree plus which is the minutes plus the seconds. So this is seconds divided by 3600. That means 60 by 60. You bring it back to minutes. That a minute to be divided by 60. You add them to degrees. That is actually what is done here, you know, to get this. This is what you will do to get all these. I'll also do the same thing here. At the end of the day, all your data will be in degrees and no more in degree minute seconds. So we're going to show you how to do that. Then from there, you can also integrate your data into ArcGIS, you know, any tabular data. So this is the process. When we've actually done that, we will show you how you can add those data in point format into becoming a shape file. So that's actually what the process will be illustrated here. You know, so at, um, at ArcGIS environment, we will show you how this is actually done. Another one is the global positioning system and the GIX. You know, GPX is, is, is a world radio navigation system that actually formed from different constellations around the satellites and their ground stations. The GPS uses the Dick's man-made star as a reference point to calculate positions accurately to a matter of meters. Yes. Yeah, even the ones we call DGPX these days can give you very accurate result. So the technology is actually advanced in different forms that GPS can make some measurements in centimeters and all that. So GPX is one of the vital, most important tools we use to acquire location, capture the location, uh, coordinate location, and actually integrate that directly into GIX. And this can actually be done using different extensions, as we just said. We can use different extensions to do that. One of the simplest way of doing that is using DNR, the main extension of RDIS Explorer, you can use that. But in this training, we are going to show you the DNR gaming extension and how that is going to be used. So this is just it. The DNR is the Department of Natural Resources. This is a free software. You can actually download this software using this, this um, you know, using this link. It's a free software. You download it. You can actually integrate your coordinate location directly into ArcMap. So that is just how you can download it. You download it and install it into your system. Once you finish downloading, make sure you run to execute the file. This is the interface of, of that. We are going to show you all this and how it is done. Then from this, there are different sources, different sources you can actually acquire your data. So after that, we will also look at introducing some of the features on how we can create um, how can create some, you know, convert some of the GIS features, how can create by converting features from existing data or creating a new features um, from existing data to another data, you know, like creating the point features, the line features, the polygon features, and also adding an, all these features to an attribute table, you know. These lessons we are going to look at how to create a GIS layer from existing layer, digitize them online, and also, which is creating the new polygon shape files, new point shape files, and the line shape file. So, this is degree minute seconds. This is 
assuming you are given coordinates in degree minute seconds this is what you've been given in a tabular form and you are actually required to use this coordinate system in arc map environment what do you do the first thing you need to do is first of all you need to use the excel software like this and convert this into this dms into degree after that you save it as your csv or you save it as text you know you integrate this into file in this file into ArcMap and convert the file into shape file so now what do we do here this will form as our x which is our east and this will form as y which is our north so what do we do we click here we say equal to this which is 15 we click 15 divided by 3600 like what we saw before plus this divided by 60 plus this this is equal to this then you can see this is what we have here 8.887 you can drag it it gives you all you can make it for for the smart places you know this is what we have now you can copy this the same formula you paste it here it automatically calculates this for you you drag it so this is what you have so you've actually gotten your these two so what do you do you can copy this out we copy this out so what do you do you can now use sheets to copy that out and paste copy it out here you can copy this copy paste here but you have to paste special and save values so you can remove this delete this so you now have left x and y so this actually forms your degrees you save this as txt files save as or save it as csv files rather that is command delimited then now we'll save it as csv we'll now say this is a csv file we'll name it xy underscore data you know so this is actually what we we'll form here our xy data underscore degrees we we'll save it you say okay yes so that is it you've done that no you've saved that so that is what you have